Take it about a place. It'll take creation, imagination. Try to draw outside the line. Hi, Creative Sampers. Thanks for joining me today. Today we are going to make this Halloween card. Let's get started. First, we're going to start with a basic card. It is cut eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. And we'll go ahead and give that a crisp edge with our bone folder. This piece here is cut at four and a quarter by four. And we'll go ahead and start with that piece. Right here, we're going to use adorning accent dies. It is these two dies. One is a scallop and one is a decorative edge. We are going to cut that using our big shot. Say hello to my dogs. We'll start with gluing these onto our card. Um, you don't have to worry about the seam. You will not see that. Uh, we will cover that up later with ribbon. I'm going to bring my silicone mat in here. It works great when you're using glue. Um, your paper then does not stick to the mat. our paper snips will cut off the excess. And out of the way. Next we're going to come in with the bird builder punch. We are going to make the leaves on the bottom and then the stems for the pumpkin. So you will need four of those. Two of them, you won't need the whole thing because those are going to be your stems. Okay, we'll set those aside. Then we're going to come in with our large oval punch. We are going to punch out three ovals. I already have the two pumpkins made, but I want to show you how we're going to make those. Take your glue, just run it up and down the edge of one pumpkin. Overlap them. Take your third piece put glue all over the whole pumpkin. And there you go. We'll cut it off with the paper snips. This will be our stem. Just glue it onto the back. Oops, fingers are sticky. And there you go. So there's our two pumpkins that we're going to use today. You can also use the circle punch and do circle pumpkins as well. You just need a little bit of glue for the leaves. Again, I like using the glue. It allows me to reposition.
and then this one you want to come in the opposite direction. You want it to be sitting like this. Okay. Then we come in with our two pumpkins. We are going to put dimensionals on the back. Um, I'm going to do two for each pumpkin. And there you have it. If you want to cut that little tail off, you can. Okay, now for our ribbon. It's the 8th inch taffeta ribbon. We're going to put it right there on our seam. There we go. We will attach this to our card base again. I like using the Tombow glue. I like my snail. I use that usually on the inside of my cards. On the outside, I like to use the Tombow glue. It allows me to move it. And there we go so far. Then we are going to take our word window punch. Um, I got the Happy Halloween from Teeny Tiny Wishes. Um, this is a great stamp set. It has many different sayings, um, different holidays, and it also comes in different languages. So we are going to punch out Happy Halloween using the word window punch. Sorry about that. Okay, so here we have it so far. We have the ribbon. We have a bow that we are going to attach using our mini glue dots. These are awesome as well, and we are just going to stick that on there if I can pick one up. Stick our little bow on there. Now in this card, I went ahead and I did little pearls. I want to go ahead and do the add a little bling to it, so I'm going to do the rhinestones. But we'll finish working on our ha Happy Halloween. Sorry, I skipped there. Minor interruption. So we are going to use our modern label punch. You're going to punch out in black and then attach our Happy Halloween. It's been hard getting my videos in because I have now been moved out into the open of the whole house. So I have to try to do my videos when nobody is home. Okay, so there is our Happy Halloween. Somewhere in there. Sorry. Okay, happy Halloween. We will go ahead and add two glue dots to the back of that. And attach to the top. And there's that. Now to give our card a little bit of bling, we are going to go ahead and use the rhinestones. I'm going to go ahead and use the smaller rhinestones. I misplaced my new one, so I have to use one of my old ones. And just on every scallop, you're going to go ahead and place a rhinestone. And then I'm going to add them to the Happy Halloween. And there you have it. A blinged out Halloween card. Um, have a great day. Thanks for stopping by. Next week I will be doing 3D items. 
uh, please stop by and check it out. Thanks. Have a great day. Hey, if you want to play, make it about a place. It'll take creation, imagination.